Welcome, everybody. I'm sitting right up here. I want to get closer to y'all. Uh, I promise to move back. Um, I'm Nora. This is Flo, um, live yoga with iShine. And um, a few things. So I think last week when we got started, I didn't mute people and people didn't mute themselves. Just make sure as we get going that you mute yourself. So if you tap your screen, you should see a little microphone in the bottom left corner. Um, mute yourself just because as we go, um, I think if someone makes noise and you're not muted, it will flash to your screen, um, which is just, I don't know, I know y'all want to watch me for the next hour, uh, but it, it, it gets a little distracting. So mute yourself before you get going. Um, the other thing to say is I have behind me on my mat, and I'll move that, um, a can of peeled tomatoes, 28 ounces a roll of toilet paper, which if anybody needs any but let me know. And then also a yoga block. Have something, maybe two of something, just to put your hands on if you need them. If you know you can touch the floor just fine in a lunge, don't worry about it. But sometimes it's just nice to have that little extra lift. Um, so find something, it, just anything that you can put way down a water bottle, anything like that. So today we are gonna work on um, it's going to be a little more focused on the upper body, um, upper back, shoulders, um, and doing some one arm, some side plank variations. Um, so just know if you, if your shoulders don't feel great when you've got all your weight on one hand, um, that you can stay just in that plank position um, or put, bring a medium. So I'll offer that. But First and foremost, especially during times like these, when we don't want to have to go see a doctor, if things don't feel safe or comfortable, sit it out, right? We'll move on, it's a flow, we keep going. So all that said, let's start on your backs. Start on your backs, and as much as you can, stretch out so you're in this star position, right? So your arms are sort of Defense it or why? Just stay there. I'm gonna sit back up and talk to you a little bit. But stretch out and take up space on the mat and start to feel your breath. And especially when there are times of uncertainty and um, maybe a little anxiety. When there's more unknown than known, or it feels that way, really focusing on your exhales becomes a valuable tool. So as you fill all the way up, see if you can feel the air of breath move down into your belly. And then through pursed lips, let that air out completely, but go slow. So it's almost or it is longer than your inhale. Just start to feel the rhythm of your breath, slowing down as much as you can. Doesn't mean it has to be really deep. But just making sure it's very conscious. And if you've ever come to a class of mine, you might have heard this before. One of my favorite mantras, being someone that always feels a little bit um out of it is I do not know. I do not know. And not in a way that you throw your hands up in the air and you're just like, Shh, I don't know. But in a way that you don't know what is to come. Saying I do not know in a way that opens up possibility because you don't know. So this comes from um, one of the Zen, Zen masters, Shunru Suzuki. And he writes, now it is raining, but we don't know what will happen in the next moment. By the time we go out, it may be a beautiful day or a stormy day. Since we don't know, let's appreciate the sound of the rain now. So maybe throughout this practice, maybe there's something else you're working with, use that. 
But if it helps to bring you to your mat and give you a little bit of mm, comfort, security, this mantra, I do not know, can be really powerful. Moment to moment, we don't know what's happening. It's very forward and in our face right now, but that's true regardless of what's happening. We don't know. So there's a lot of possibility in that. So you see it as a space to open things up, right? All right. So stretch out long on your mat. You're going to start to feel some of this thoracic rotation. So I'm going to press your left heel down into the mat. And then reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, then over to the right, lifting your left shoulder, reaching as far past your right hand as you can, sort of diagonally up. Feel this stretch through your left side, and then slowly roll back down, coming back to your star shape. Right, and then press your right heel down, reach your right arm up, and then diagonally up and over, lifting your right shoulder, reach away, and then come back down. Maybe go two more times each direction, touch your left foot up. Nail it down as you reach your left arm up and over the shoulder and all the little side. Come back down. And then move to the right side. One more time, each direction. And if this doesn't make any sense in my you can't really see me just. Stretchy, simply movements on the floor right now work just as well, probably. Last time to the right. And then come back down, stretch out line on the earth, feel for a breath or two. That's first initial movements. And then we're going to switch it up just a little bit. I want you to hug your left knee into your chest. And bring your left knee over to your right so that your right hand is on top of your left knee. And then your left shoulder is going to stack on top of your right shoulder. Reach your left arm as far to the right as you can. And then on your exhale, slowly roll your upper back back to the floor on your left shoulder. Two more times on this side. Reach right, stack your shoulders, stack your hips. And then roll your upper back, your arm back to the earth. One more time. Reach. And then roll open and pause. Feel this twist. Turn your head however is comfortable for your neck. If your left arm is hanging out in space, that's okay as long as that stretch across the front of your chest. Feels okay. If not, bend your elbow and that will allow your arm to come down to the floor to loosen a little bit. Good. And then slowly, as you're ready, come back through center. And then right knee comes into your chest. Bring it across, stack your hips, stack your shoulders, and reach your right arm as far to the left as you can. And roll your upper back and your arm back. And two more times, stack your shoulders, stack your hips, reach, and then roll back down. Last one, reach, and roll back down. Pause and breathe. So again, here, maybe you can probably see a little bit better. If you need to bend your elbow, that will allow the arm to soften towards the heart a little bit more. Right? You can shift your legs. Right? You can shift your arms so you can find this twist and relax into it. And then as you're ready, come back to center, hug both knees into your chest, circle your ankles, curling your toes, so you can get them to pop and crack, get everything out. Before we start to move, as you're ready, rock along the length of your spine or roll to one side. You're going to come up to tabletop. So plant your hands and your knees, right? 
Wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and come into some cat and cow zones. Okay, undulate your spine. A couple of just sort of the traditional flexing and extending of the spine. And then you know maybe your body wants to find more organic movement by circling your rib cage. Right, wagging your tail from side to side. Really, whatever your body is calling for. And then when you've explored, turn your fingertips back towards you. That feels a bit of your wrist. I have no clue they want to see. But turn your fingertips back towards you, right? So you feel the stretch in the inside of your wrist. Press down through your fingertips, and maybe even here find some cat and cow toes. Right? You'll know if your wrists, your arms, your elbows don't like this pretty quickly. Okay? And then turn your hands back around, knees wide, big toes touch, sink back to child pose. Allow your forehead to rest on the earth. Or a block, or if you're lucky enough to have toilet paper, or whatever your prop may be, to rest your head. Keep everything where it is, but turn your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Okay? And then see if you can lift your right hand, your right arm up without letting your head lift. And then let it come back down. Okay? And then lift your left hand up. And then let it come back down. Notice that may be harder than you think it is. Come back up to tabletop. Find the long spine. Point your head forward, toe back. Reach your right leg back behind you. Right arm forward. And a little bit different today. You're going to reach your left hand behind. Tap your right foot. And then extend back out. Sweep your lower left. Your right leg out to the side. Reach your left fingertips over to the middle. Yep. Come back. Tap your hand to your opposite foot. Reach both over to the right. Bend your right elbow if that feels good. One more time. Tap behind. Reach out and over. This time as you lift up, reach back so you can find your foot. This time keep your foot in your hand with your chest. Breathe. And then release, extend back out, hand and knee down, sink your hips back towards your heels. Just feel right side and left side. And remind yourself, I don't know. Other side, coming back up to your tabletop. Send the left leg back behind you. Right arm reaches forward. Stay long through your spine. Try to reach the front of your back forward. Tailbone back. Reach your right arm back, tap your left foot, and then reach forward, kick your left leg out to the left, right fingertips, top left corner of your mat, sink down. And then inhale, lift back up, reach back. Reach out, foot over to the left, fingertips over to the left, sink. One more time, tap. So what this does is this is a little bit of cross patterning, it works with the brain and the Big vagus nerve. Yep. Lift back up. Reach back. Grab on. Kick your foot into your hand. Lift your chest. Make sure you're still breathing. And then reach out. Knee and hand down. Child pose one more time. Feel. So from child pose, if you need anything to pad your knees, we're going to come to the knee a little bit. So reach your fingertips long as you exhale. Round your upper back towards the ceiling. Pull your fingertips back. It's like you're trying to resist with your fingertips as you rise up to the kneeling. Reach your arms up. On your exhale, hinge back at the knees. So reach your hands forward. Knee back. Press the tops of your feet into the earth. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, right hand down towards your right heel, lifting left fingertips up and back. 
Inhale, reach back up, other side. Reach back up. And then on your exhale, sweep your arms down. You're coming back to child's pose. Let your chest be the last thing to land. And then your forehead. So chest and then forehead, yeah? So two more times, reach the arms forward. Inhale, come up to table. Exhale, round your spine up to the ceiling. Drag your fingertips back, reach up. Reach the hands forward, lean back. Reach back up. Right fingertips down. You might not touch anything, you might touch the floor. Lift back up. Left fingertips reach back as the right reaches up. Inhale, reach back up. Hands sweep down, hips back, keep the low belly lifted. Spine long until the spine the ground over your thighs. One more time, reach forward, inhale. Tabletop, exhale, round your spine, drag your fingers back, reach up. Sink back, reach forward, lift up. Right fingertips down, you might find you have a little more space this time, come back forward. Left fingertips back, lift up. And then sweep the arms down, slowly sink down to your child's pose. Arms reach back, but the shoulder heads get heavy. Breathe. As you're ready, reach the arms forward, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal on your feet, however feels good. And you welcome yourself back to your practice if this is the first thing you've done today. And we're going to come into um, a twist from down dog, but I want you to spend a little time on one arm. So move your left hand so it's more towards the center of your mat, not back, but where it would be in between your hands, and reach your right arm back. Okay? And if this feels precarious on the own shoulder, just tend your right hand by it, or stay in your down dog. But feel this, really root your heels down, maybe even the knees a little bit, try to get really long through your spine. And then from here, reach your right arm, right hand to your left heel or your shin or somewhere on your left leg and drag your chest underneath your left armpit. You feel this twist in your upper back. And then right hand comes down by your left. Sweep your left arm back. So three-legged down dog. It's just a different leg that's lifted this time. It's your left arm. But again, if this doesn't feel good, I'm going to try to shoulder. Make sure you feel supported. So maybe tent your left fingers. Or maybe stay a little down dog and breathe. But just add a little extra load to your arms, to your shoulders, to so build a little strength, a little more stability. And then from here, you're going to reach your left hand somewhere along your right leg. Oh, now I can see the camera. So then you're going to look underneath your right armpit. Turn your chest to the right. And breathe. And then both hands come down with sweet relief. Walk your hands back to your feet. Hold in and your knees. Let your head drop down. So you can reach your elbows here, you can interlace your hands behind the back of your neck, sway, find stillness, what feels good. Right, letting go of that need to be right, to know, to feel in control. Feels good, but it's an illusion. I don't know. And then rise all the way up as you're ready. Reach your arms up, look up, make sure you're not seeing stars, and the hands come down to your heart center. So I'm going to come get to face y'all, right? So a little bit more to warm up through the shoulder. You're going to bring your left hand to your right shoulder. I'm now I'm here. Um, so let your right side get short, 
right? So you're leaning over to your right, and your right arm is like a limp noodle, right? And you just allow it to swing however feels good. But realizing that our shoulder joint, our arm is attached to the rest of our skeleton merely through muscles. Right? So you can maybe feel that with everything you really loose. Right? And then slowly let it come to a stop. You feel how long it feels. And then lift back up. Bring both arms down by your side. Feel one arm feels longer than the other. And then come to the other side. So right hand, left shoulder. Lean over. This just gives yourself some space and gravity to let this left noodle move around as much as feels good. And again, trying to re release control. Right? And then letting it come to stop. You might feel this in the right side of your own back. Who knows? Slowly come back to center. You just notice side to side how things feel. And then reach your right arm up towards the sky. You're going to reach your right arm up and back. Look back towards the wall or whatever's behind you. Right? And like for Carolyn here, there's a big thing of toilet paper behind you. You're trying to keep your feet where they are. And then reach for that toilet paper. You really want to your right side. And then come back to center. And then the other side. So feet stay planted. Left arm up and back. Look back. Let your body turn as it wants to. But reach like you can. It's like go go gadget arm. Because your feet stay really hard. You can maybe reach whatever you're going for behind you. And then come back. Release. Notice how you feel. Start to flow a little more traditionally. So stand to the back of your mat, inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, soften your knees and fold. Walk your hands forward, down dog to plank position. So either knees down or lower through chaturanga, lower all the way down. Untuck your toes, lift your chest, forward pose, and pause here. So you're lifted as high as feels comfortable for your low back. You're using the strength of your arms a little bit here. Now I want you to start. Feel your hands off. You're obviously going to lower down. Let's say as this as you can. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Sweep your arms back, palms up. Maybe have the legs. Breathe. Release the legs down. Squeeze the elbows together and up. Hands underneath you. Lift up, up, down. And then move back down. We're chasing dog. You get back to down dog, right leg lift, bend your knee, roll your right hip on top of your left, and long to the right side. Straighten your legs, square your hips, step your right foot between your hands. Left hand is on the earth, toilet paper, tomatoes, or block, or anything else for you. Right arm up towards the sky. Feel your chest rotate. Now, keep your chest rotated to the right, release your left knee down. Step your right leg back. You're in this gate pose. Let your right foot come down to the earth. And then on your exhale, you're going to thread your right arm underneath your left shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, reach back up. And maybe roll your chest forward. Exhale, throw. Inhale, lift. One more, curl it. And left. And then on your exhale, both hands down, back to plank pose, lower all the way down. Again, lift up forward pose. See how high you can stay lifted with the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Press, straighten the arms back behind you. Lift the legs if that feels good on um, everything you have. Now release your feet back down. Hands come underneath your shoulders. Maybe lift to an up dog. And move back down dog. Straight into the second side. Left leg lift. Bend your knee and roll your left foot on top of your right. So we're trying to roll the left shoulder down. Getting long to the left side. 
And then straighten your legs, square your hips, step your left foot between your hips, right hand on the earth or whatever prompt you might want. Left arm up towards the sky. Now here, see if you can feel your right bicep roll forward. That'll firm your shoulder blade onto your back and be able to open your chest a little bit more. And then right knee comes down. Spin the chin out if you need. Left leg back. Right? Keep it lifted and then release the sole of the left foot on the floor. Inhale, roll your chest open. Exhale, curl underneath. Maybe feel the left elbow, right elbow a little bit reach. Inhale, lift back. Exhale, reach. One more, lift back up. And reach. And then up, lift back up. And then both hands on the earth, plank pose. You can press it down, hug, or exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, move back down with facing up. Three breaths to feel. Reconnect with your breath. Bring your awareness to the parts of your body that are in contact with the earth. And then as you're ready, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop top of the mat, inhale, halfway, exhale, fold it. And rise all the way up to standing, hands come to heart center. So still standing at the top of your mat, I'm just going to face you for a moment. Lift your right knee towards your chest, interlace your fingers below your knee and pull it up and in. Right? And then let go, hands can be wherever you would like. Let your right knee come out to the side. Send your heel back. So internally, you rotate through the thigh. And then with the knee bent, send the thigh back behind you, coming into sort of a warrior three. You can't see my foot, but my knee is bent. And then lift back up. And one more circle like that, open. You're going to send the heel back behind you to internally rotate that thigh. Sweep it back behind you. And then come back to center. Release that foot down on the other side. Hold on first, root down through your right foot. The left leg is lifted. Then let go, keep it the same height. Keep your pelvis facing forward, kind of like a tree pose. And then shin back behind you, foot back behind you. And then hinge forward, thigh parallel to the floor, sole of the foot parallel to the ceiling. Lift back up. And one more time, out to the side, internal rotation, back behind you, and knee back to your chest. Both feet on the earth, chair pose, sink down. Right, so keep in the upper back, I want you to bend your elbows, bring the outer edges of your forearms and your pinkies together, lift your elbows to shoulder height. Right, and then standing on your left foot, right knee comes into your chest, Curl in towards your knee. And then bring the palms together, reach forward as the right leg steps back, warrior one. Right heel comes down, reach up, warrior one. And let your hands come down by your side. So on your inhale, you're going to reach out and lift your chest, let the shoulder blades point towards one another. Exhale, round the other back. Hands down, inhale rotation, chin towards your chest. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Now listen. Inhale, reach up. On your exhale, just like you did before, your right hand is going to come down to the earth. This is a great place for a prop. Left, right heel is going to lift. Left arm up towards the sky. This is very this little tricky. Spin your right heel back and up. Just like where it was, straighten your left leg. Reach your left hand back towards your right leg. And then inhale, come back forward, back to that wall lunge. Exhale, pour your on the leg, straighten the front leg, reach back through the back leg. One more time, inhale. And exhale. So you feel that same twist through the upper back we did in Delta earlier. Inhale, come back forward. Revolve lunge, I'm not going to be facing wrong. So either your back knee can come down or outer edge of your right foot. Step your left foot back to the side plank. 
breathe. And then both hands down, plank pose. Now stay in plank for a moment, right? So again, if you're working on plank and your shoulders need a little more stability, stay here or come here. But if all that feels good, on your exhale, you're gonna have to send your heels to the left, lift your right hand, squeeze the shoulder blade back, come go by on the side of the plank, and then come back to your plank, heels to the right, lift the left, squeeze. One more time, each side, twist, squeeze. Both hands down, twist, squeeze. Plank pose, lower or down dog. Up dog on the inhale. Down on the face and dog on the exhale. Second side, top of the mat, step or hop, halfway, and fold. So stay facing this way. As you rise out, chair pose. Bring the outer edges of your arms together. Kinkies come together, right? You'll feel the shoulder blades separate. Maybe you tuck your chin for a second. This time you're going to stay standing on your right foot. Left knee to chest, curl in as much as you can. And then bring the palms together, extend out. Left foot down, warrior one, lift the hands up. And then release your hands down by your side. Inhale, look up, lift the arms, let the shoulder blades squeeze together with your chest. And then exhale, curl everything in around you from the back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Now reach up regular warrior one. On your exhale, left hand down to the earth. A block of rock. Left heel lifts, right arm up towards the sky. And then just like we did last time, so inhale, turn the shift. Exhale, spin the back heel down, straight in the front leg. Reach your right arm back for your left leg. Inhale, come back to that wall lunge. Two more, straight in the front leg, back heel spins down, reach back, and under your left arm leg. One more time, inhale. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, come forward, pause that wall lunge. Again, make sure your crop is steady if your left hand is on something or come to the earth. Back knee down for gate pose, or step back to side plank. Keep trying to spin your left bicep forward towards the top of your neck. Breathe. And then both hands down, pause. If you're staying right here to build a little strength, like always come to child's pose or down low, or that same thing we did before. Heels to the left, right hand lifts, squeeze. Back, try to tap your shoulder blades together. Come back to your plank, plank separate the shoulder blades. Heels to the right, lift the left, squeeze. Come back, squeeze. Come back, squeeze. Come back, decide whether you want to flow or down dog. Flowing is lowering, extending the spine in some way. And then moving back to a down dog. Five breaths, child pose, water, whatever you need. Let things settle. I did this practice earlier, but I did not talk while I did it. Ooh. I catch my breath. Maybe come back to that mantra. I do not know. Notice how you feel when you say that. It can be scary. But truly, it's reality. Maybe you can start to find a place to rest in not knowing the possibility that that can open up in you too. All right. Coming back to down dog from your child's pose or staying in down dog, but maybe we're back to the top of the mat, step to the top. You keep adding on to this in and out halfway. Exhale, fold, rise all the way up. And the hands come to heart center. So again, chair pose, sink down. Bring the outer edges of your arms together, pinkies together. Lift the elbows, feel the shoulder really separate from the back, 
Standing by the left leg, curl the right knee into the chest. And then reach the arms forward, send the right leg back. Step all the way back, press and lunge, reach up. And then interlace your hands behind the back of your head. Lift your collarbones, elbows out towards the sides of the room. Lift up to that stretch, press out through your right heel. Breathe. Inhale, reach back up. On your exhale, hands come down, you're going to pivot to your right. All ten toes facing to the right. Wide legs can fold in on your head middle. You can stay right here, or maybe little gentle bends, alternating knees, moving maybe deeper and deeper into a Skandasana esque sort of movement. Okay. The next time you bend your right knee, so you're towards the back of your neck, pause if you lift the sole of your left foot. And then see if you can press up to standing, lower that foot down, toes face forward, warrior two. Yeah. Flip your front palm, reverse. Extend the side angle, left forearm, left thigh, right arm up and over. Inhale, come back, warrior two. All right, now listen, you're gonna to start to lift your right heel as you sweep your right hand forward. So you're in a crescent lunge leg, and then sweep your left arm back. So you're twisting open arm away from your right leg. Stay right here, maybe left hand down, right arm up. Breathe. On your exhale, right hand comes down to the earth, or prop. Left arm up towards the sky. So the same thing we did, we're gonna move back to a version of side plank. So how about to your right foot? Step your left foot back to meet it. I'm gonna turn around real quick, right? Amazing, y'all. So maybe your right knee's down if you need a little more support, right? And then from here, your left arm is gonna curl, exhale, reach it underneath your right, and look over your right shoulder. Inhale, lift back up. Two more, just like that, curl in, and lift, curl in, and lift, pause, wherever you are, both hands down, both feet down the plank, decide whether you want to flow or shift back down the bottom, breathe. Second side, top of the mat, step or hop, halfway, then fold, rise all the way up, chair pose. So again, bend the elbows, outer edges of your forearms together, pinkies together. Try not to let the elbows separate, okay? Standing on your right foot, left knee comes to your chest, curl in. And then reach the hands forward, send the left leg back as slow as you can, Press it, lunge, reach up. Interlace the fingers behind the back of your head. Lift your chest. Breathe. So the elbows are going out, up, back. <laughs> it's every direction. The elbows are going out, like wings. So that your spine can move through and up. Reach your arms back up. Hands come down to the earth. Pivot to your left, all ten toes, face forward, and fold in. Let your head go. So just feel for a moment. Make sure you're not moving down too strongly through your toes. Notice all the weights in your heels. Try to press down through the ball mounds of your feet and the center of your heels. And then you might stay here because stillness feels like we know what we're doing. Right? Or maybe your nervous system is like mine and how can I some of the things, right? So shifting around however feels good, right? Exploring how your body will move right now in this moment. Right? And then come back to center. Nope, just kidding. Bend your left knee, sink towards the back of the back. Lift your right toes. So the sole of the right foot is lifted. 
Now press down, use your hands as much as you need to, but maybe you can rise up to standing. Bend your right knee, warrior two. Flip your front palm reverse. Come back through center, right forearm, right back, left arm up and over. Inhale, lift back up. Now, you're gonna lift your left heel, sweep your left hand forward, and turn back around. Right? Right arm back. I'm gonna get confused. You can stay right here, trying to squeeze your right knee in towards the center. Right hand comes down the back of your left thigh, left arm up and then to the And then on your exhale, left hand comes down to the earth or a block. Gate pose, left knee down or side plank. Outer edge of your left foot, right foot steps back to meet it, right along up. And then again, you can stay right here. Or on your exhale, thread the way on your knees, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, reach back up. Three more. You might need an extra credit on this side, but that's a good thing. Or you can blow it off entirely. Ooh. One more. Reach up. Both hands on the earth, plank pose to side, whether you want to lower down or down dog. Inhale, lift. Exhale, move back downward, facing dog. Five breaths, maybe child's pose, water, whatever you need. Exhaling through pursed lips can help. You fully get all of your exhale out so that you're able to fill up for the next inhale. Settle yourself back on your back in this space, in this moment. I don't know. I don't know helps to let go of expectations. Things we think we should or shouldn't be doing or experiencing or feeling. I don't know. Open to what the next moment has to offer. All right, down dog, if you're in any other shape, or stand down dog, no one will know the difference. Okay? And then one more of those flows, and having on and changing it up a little bit to keep it interesting. Top of your mat as you're ready, halfway, and fold. Rise all the way up, and hands come to heart center. You guessed it. Chair pose. Okay, hands come to heart center. Bring the outer edges of your forearms together, your pinkies together, standing on your left foot. Curl your right knee into your chest, round. Send the arms forward, the leg back, kind of pausing in warrior three, step back, press and lunge, reach up. I'm going to switch around so that y'all can, can see this, right? Okay? So on your exhale, I want you to pivot to your right, bend the right knee, left leg straight, skandasana. And then lift back up to standing, warrior two. One more time, skandasana, warrior two. Flip your front palm in reverse. Come back through center, extended side angle, right arm up and over. Inhale, come back forward two. Now lift your right heel, right hand comes forward, left arm comes back, rotate your chest towards the left foot. Left hand down, right arm up. Breathe. On your exhale, right hand comes down to the earth. Or practice steady, left arm up towards the sky. Okay, and now your version of side plank. So this time I want you to step the left foot slightly behind the right, even if your knee is down, so that your hips are slightly rolled up towards the ceiling. And then reach your left arm over towards the top left corner of your neck. So your hips are rolling open as your chest is. Rolling down towards the floor. It's that same shape we've done all of class. Breathe. And now listen, wherever you are, slowly lower your hips down. You're going to be facing towards the back of your mat. 
in a wide leg straddle. It's magic. You're going to reach your right arm over your left, either side, and fold forward. So you just sort of compress that right side. Now we're swiping it out. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, lift back up. Now listen, you're coming back to your side plank. So set your right hand at the top of your mat. Outer edge of your right foot or right knee down. Lift back up, side plank, right bicep forward. And then both hands on the earth. Plank pose, lower. Left, shoulder heads back, crown the head up, move back down the dog. You got one last side, Whew. and then we get to stretch it all out and rest a little bit. Yeah. Notice where you are, reconnect with your breath. Last side, top of that, separate hop, halfway, fold, rounds all the way up. And hands come to heart center, chair pose. Stand on your right foot, outer edge of your arms come together. The arms are really no, I don't like this. Anything with your arms, but lift the left leg, go over it, and you curl your spine over your left thigh. Slowly keep the right knee bent, send the left leg long, start to reach your fingers forward, press and lunge. Okay. You have to face it the wrong way the whole time. You're going to pivot to your left, stand glass, and the left knee bends right and straight. Yep. Inhale, stand, warrior two, top of the mat, right knee bend. One more time, stand glass, and then just give the hips a little bit. Inhale, come back, pause. Flip your front palm, right hand reaches up and back, reverse. Inhale, come back through center. Right forearm, right thigh, left arm, left elbow. Extend the side angle. Inhale, lift back up. The left arm comes forward, left heel lifts. Crescent lunge towards the top of your mat. Reach the arms forward, and then right arm goes back. Hey, I'm finally facing the camera. It's exciting. Turn your chest, squeeze your right knee in towards the sternum. And then maybe right hand on left arm. Breathe. And then on your exhale, left hand down. So relax a little bit. Outer edge of your left foot or left knee down. Right foot steps back. Step it behind your left leg. Now we'll rotate your hips up towards the ceiling. Keep rolling your left bicep forward. And then reach your right arm towards the top right corner of your neck. Okay, see if you can start to fold, turn. Your chest down towards the floor. Breathe it along through that right side. Keep trying to lift this up. And then slowly lower your hips down. You're facing the back of your mat. You can step your feet a little bit wider. Yeah? And you're going to reach your left arm over towards your right foot. So long through the left side. So really press down through the top of the right thigh. Let your head go. Come back through center. Go to the other side. Okay? Press down through the top of the right thigh. Move on through the right side. You might feel it a little bit more if you keep lifting the left shoulder a little bit. So it's not dropping from the chest to your left. Lift back up, bend your left knee. Bring the sole of your left foot to your inner right thigh. Left foot tall, reach over your right leg. This time you can let your head drop, fold in. Keep pressing the top of your left thigh, your left knee down and back as you get longer over your right leg. And lift back up, plant your left hand by your seat. Come under your left shin, reach your right arm up and back. Roll both biceps forward, get broad through the chest. And then really 
glutes down. Last side. Right knee bends, left leg straight. So nice and tall, reach over your left leg. You're gonna try to turn your chest to the left. Try to press your right sit bone down, your right knee down. Lift back up. Right hand by your seat. Go on your right shin. Whatever feels good, press your pelvis forward, lift. Little back and get long through the front of the body. And then release down. Just bring those so fun on the last side. We're going to do it on this side. So sort of line up so that you can plant your left hand at the top of the mat. Come on to the outer edge of your left foot or your left knee. Lift back up, side plank. Like the superheroes we are, hands on the earth. Feel. What do you need? Do you need a flow? Do you need down dog? One last time, lower. Lift, linger if that feels good. Really press all 10 toenails into the earth. Strong through the thighs. Move back, downward facing dog. And child's pose. And finally, whatever. <laughs> Love these. Let's just hang into my head for my kids. Whatever thing is going to support you. If it feels better to have some support underneath your head, or just come to the earth. Let your arms wrap down by your shins, shoulder pads heavy. See if you can slow your heartbeat by slowing your breath. As you are ready, lifting back up. So just to follow along with the speeding, we'll end from the back bends. We'll come into some camel variations, right? So again, if your knees not on the floor, I feel like I need to get close to you. Right? Ooh, that's, hmm. that's much better. Right? So knees on your mat. Maybe you can roll up your mat. Toes can be tucked or untucked. Okay? I want you to bring the left hand to your low back. And your heel of your hands are here from the upper down. Up works to that. Okay? You see if you can lay from the tailbone down as you press your pelvis forward and try to internally rotate your thighs back. Okay? And then your right arm reaches straight up and back. Go slow. So when you start feeling your low back, you can roll to the floor. Breathe. Maybe you can start to feel that real shape by bending your fingers, by bending your elbow, moving the upper or back. And then release down. Hands on your thighs, close your eyes. Feel. And that should tell you a little something. If you hiked your board, I don't want to do the other side. That was too far. Okay? But that being said, you also just don't have to do the other side. You can sit right here and breathe. And no, it's not about how much you can extend the spine, how deep we can go. It's much more of exploring where we are. Okay? And just moving into that action wherever we find ourselves. Okay? So second side, if you're willing to try, if you're willing to go there, right? Hand in the middle of your back and ease the sacrum of the tailbone down. So the hips kind of go forward and think more up than back. So you're trying to flip the collarbones up, right? Long through the back of the neck. And if all that feels okay, left arm up. And this right here might change it. It changes the load on the spine. So be okay if that's where you are. Or maybe the arm starts to lift, reach back. Right? If all that feels okay, you can start to think about wheels from the palm up towards the ceiling. Bend the elbows. See how that feels? You might be able to curl your chest up a little bit more. Breathe. And now lift back up. Hands down. Close your eyes. 
So back on your heels or find a comfortable seat. So you can just be where you are. It's the only place you can be. And if you're anything like me, you have to remind yourself of that most moments of the day. I'm a person that hates to say I don't know. What immediately comes to mind is that this American Life publication called Modern Genetics. I read something, I talk like I'm an expert. I want to know. When I say I don't know, it opens up so much. I soften, there's more possibility. And in times like these, we need more people to say, I don't know. But we're willing to figure it out. As you're ready, starting to make your way down onto your backs. Okay. Notice how your spine feels here. It might feel good to come to a happy baby or a version of happy baby. Last week, we led you into this version where you just hold on to the tops of your ankles and bring your heels towards your glutes. To me, that is more relaxing to my low back. And then let the feet go, let your arms come out wide or even up overhead. Let your knees drop, windshield wiper side to side, just in case all that back bending. Here's the ingestion. All that back bending kind of bound you up. Let this be whatever you need to do to unwind. And as we settle into our last moments, minutes, tens of minutes, if you possibly can spare it, Shavasana, what do you need? And I'm going to offer something up. You can go straight to Shavasana, but it's called Spandasana. And it's the immortal spark. And so I'm going to reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And then just like you extend it, this is awesome on video. Shake your arms around, shake your hands, let those triceps flop, right? Let everything get really floppy. Move your arms, shake it out, let everything go after all that work. If this feels good, if you want to go really silly, add your legs on and shake, shake, right? You're by yourself or sort of, like no one can see you, so try not to hold on. It. Let it be as much movement as you need to feel everything release and then relax. Let everything drop to the floor. Palms face up. Legs out wide. Great. Shift around as any of that movement sort of moved you around. But notice how you feel. Start to let your breath soften. Intentionally and consciously release the muscles in your face. That tension that we tend to hold in between our eyes. Maybe swallow, make sure your throat is clear. Your jaw is soft, your tongue relax. Let your body surrender to this moment and this piece of earth that you're on, where you are. Notice how your upper back, chest feel, your arms, your wrists, your hands. Feel the rise and fall of your belly with each inhale and exhale. Let that rhythm come for you. And feel across your hips, your thighs, your knees, your shins, your calves, your feet, your toes. And 
Nowhere to be but here. Nothing to do but breathe. Resting in this space of not knowing. This infinite space is vulnerable and raw, but full of so much possibility. Take rest. Stay for as long as you can. I'm going to read this one more time. You know, unmute folks. Now it is raining, but we don't know what will happen in the next moment. By the time we go out, it may be a beautiful day or a stormy day. Since we don't know, let's appreciate the sound of the rain now. As you are ready in staying in Shavasana for as long as you can, making your way up to seated. I would love to say hi to folks, so unmute yourself if you would like. Bring your hands to heart center, bow your chin towards your chest. Okay, finding so much gratitude for yourself. Gratitude for each and every moment that we do not know. Thank you. I want to see if I can see y'all. So bad at this. Wait, how do I do this? Oh, here we go. Top right corner. Yeah, there you go. Hi. I'm gonna unmute everybody. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Nora, thank you. I have no words. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, so I'm so happy. Oh, shit. I'm so <laughs> happy I got to see you. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there you are. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. I'm so oh, glad yeah. to see you. Thank you for coming. Thank I would you. love if there's any um, feedback <laughs> on the, or any requests. So we'll be doing this every week. Hi, hi. Hello. I think I wanted to see me or not. I'm looking. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all. Have a you. wonderful, wonderful day. Sally, I'm thinking you about too. you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. 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 Bye.